Welcome back to the channel guys and today's video is going to be about blackout blinds for the cab in our VW T5 motorhome. We're Mark and V and this is our adventures. Now these cab blinds I bought from VW Transporters. I'll put the link in below. Um, I actually purchased them. Now the sides are magnetic so they go around the door and they're magnetic and in the the front blind in the window it goes on poppers and it also goes on loops on the side. Now we're going away camping tonight we're going to go for a, a one nighter down at Tintagio so what we'll do is we'll wait till we get there and show you them being fitted see what they're like and then we'll give you our honest opinion in the morning and tell you how good we thought they were. They're not very expensive. So uh, I'll put all the details below, down there. And if it works well, the idea is we're gonna remove this from the auto sleeper uh, because I think, I don't know if you've got an auto sleeper and you've got the same sort of setup, it stops your with a sun visor from folding up properly. So um, you can't put it up in your window like you can normally. So that's the whole reason for doing it. They get rid of that. And I think it'll be a bit tidier in the cab as well, because that does look a little bit old fashioned, I think. Well, see you later in Tintagel. I'm Tintagel now, and um, I've put the blinds up. And as you can see, that's all magnet. Now, they're a bit loose. And I'll go have another look at it at a later stage. But over here you can see it hooks up on the sun visor on both sides and then you've got the two poppers down the side. Um, now I think if we didn't have his rail the, the sun visor would come round and hold it a bit tighter to the windscreen and I think that would be better. But all in all I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, they, they do. They're going to be a lot tidier than the curtains because we'll be able to take these curtains out. You can see a little bit of light there at the moment, but like I say, when the when the sun blinds go in, that should be alright. I think so. Right, welcome back, and um, we're home from Tintagel now, and this is like a few days later. In fact, quite a few days later. Now I've actually removed the rail, and I'm going to show you that now, and then I'm going to show you how much better the blind fits. Now, if I come in here closely, you can see straight away that. By removing the blinds, it just clears up, cleans up that entire area. And you look around, and the first thing you notice is the blinds fold right up now. Whereas before, as you saw earlier, I'm just gonna, they couldn't fold up. So that's a great thing. Um, I've got my camera mount over there, so I don't know if that's going to affect that side at the moment. Nope, that's all right. I didn't think about that before I started the video. So um, that is taking the rain off from around there. Now we end up with some pop, some uh, clips, some popper clips here. So what we've done is we've separated our keys out onto the various little fobs. And I don't know about you, but when we're camping, we're always, oh, where have we put the keys? So now, all we gotta do is clip it there, and it's safe. Now we've got a couple of different positions, so we can put it there. We can put it there. Or, we've got one up there as well, above the seat belt. So it don't really matter where we're putting them, but it just means we can put them neatly away. And, it makes use of the poppers that are there. Now, with the rail gone, it looks a lot clearer, doesn't it? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the camera and then I'm gonna put the blinds in so you can see the, me putting the blinds in. So I'm gonna slide through and we're gonna put the blinds up now. I'll show you the, me doing the front one first. And quite easy to do as well. Find your loops. And then what I do, uh, hopefully, you've got the two clips up here. I'm just gonna 
clip them in. So you can see, you've got your clip there, and your clip there, and then you've got a clip there, and you've got a clip there. And we put the loops, put the loops here, and here, and then fold the sun visor down. And of course, remember, this is um, a, a T5 cab. It's not necessarily a or, or sleeper cab. It's not unique. So you can see now by folding down the blinds that you get quite a good coverage. You know, I've got some things on the dash, but you could probably make it even better if you wanted to. So that's as simple as that is. I'm just going to bring that in a bit closer so you can have a good look. There's a little bit of light that comes in, but believe me, We've camped out in this a few times now, and it's been absolutely fine. Remember, it's daylight outside at the moment, so you're gonna see a little bit of light coming through, but as it gets darker, you can't see anything. Now the sides, the two sides here, I'll just do one for the minute. At this point, it's doing two, just to show you. Um, what I tend to do is there's a label on them, and I look for the label, and that goes to the back of the door. So what I do is I find the curve, and then we start and I just connect the magnets in. And we've got two, they do like to stick to each other. One thing I will say is they could have done with a few more magnets in here because I think they don't have magnets in the, the absolute appropriate places. Now, you've got a big piece of metal here at the front of the door, but there is no magnet in the curtain. I will probably modify these to put a piece in there because it just seems like a natural place to be. But if you're watching, it was VW Transporters who made these. And if you're listening, guys, um, that's a modification I would do because as you can see, the magnet is down there. And when you're sat in the van trying to do it, that just doesn't really, it, it will go in. I mean, you can push it in down there but it could be better. So you just find yourself mess faffing around trying to get that in when if you had a, a magnet in that position, that would be so much better. But, you know, that's just a little, one very small negative. And there you are, that's the blind in. It's so easy to do as well, think about it, because you're not having to go outside and get wet if it's raining, and in the morning when you you know, you've got to bring the blind in that's been wrapped around on the outside, you know, put these silver screen wraps. And I've got one up there. I have got a silver screen, well, not silver screen wrap, but I have got a wrap. And, um, but you have to dry them out. So if you're looking for a quick getaway in the morning, you've got to carry it damp. I just think it's great. Um, I'm really pleased with them. They weren't very expensive. Uh, like I said, the only issue I have is the magnet positions easily rectified. I think I might even put some magnets in myself. But if VW Transporters, if you are watching this, um, a little modification, it would make it a far better product. It's a great product anyway, but it would make it an even better product. So there we are, that's it. Quite a long video for quite a simple thing really, but um, we've used, we've been camping, since the Tintagel video, we've probably been out in it camping maybe five times. So we've used them quite a few times now and we're happy with it. We definitely won't be using the wrap anymore. I can't see us needing to use the wrap. Uh, so there we are. So if you found this video at all useful, please give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe consider sharing to other people as well. So it helps the video's algorithm. So it you know gets to more people and you know, more people probably want to know about these as well. So there's that aside as well. And if you really enjoy the content that we're doing, please consider subscribing as well. Uh, we really appreciate every single one of you that subscribes. And, you know, hopefully we make content consistently that's um, going to be enjoyable. Anyway, that's enough of me babbling on. See you in the next video, guys. Look after yourselves. See you later. Bye.